Okay, hi, I'm Andy. Uh, this is about some of the surprising things that you'll find in JavaScript, so let's get stuck in. Uh, here's the whole series of uh, videos we're going to work through. Today we're going to be talking about the global object, some of the surprising things that come out of that. So before we get started on this whole thing, which is going to be a bit of a kicking of JavaScript in a way, uh, I just want to say uh, JavaScript is really great. Um, you can do some amazing stuff in it, apart from the fact that everyone's got it and not just the ability to execute it but the ability to write it um, and also it is a powerful and beautiful language with some areas that are neither powerful nor beautiful that you should avoid but uh, some really fantastic roots in scheme uh, and in self um, some good um, foundations that you know strong foundations that um, that could be ruined if you if you're not aware of the pitfalls so anyway uh, that's my excuse for um, having some fun with some of the JavaScript kicking. So let's get started. Uh, let's look at the global object. So in JavaScript you always have um, an object which is called the global object. Uh, if you're in a web browser um, it will be uh, the window um, and uh, if you don't uh, put a symbol somewhere else then any symbol you define will go into the global object. So let's define a variable called x. So let's assume we're not in a function or anything. We're um, we're just in uh, uh, in the global scope at the moment. Um, by the way, all these examples um, can be typed exactly as they are into Firebug. Um, if you're just new to JavaScript, uh, you don't know what Firebug is. Uh, Google it. Find out what Firebug is. You're really going to need it. Uh, it's great. Um, or use the equivalent uh, tool in Chrome. Uh, really fantastic. Necessary. Okay, so what's happening? We define a variable, uh, it's called x, and uh, that is a statement with no return value, so firebug prints is undefined, meaning nothing was returned. Right, so let's define a function. We're doing it all on one line just to make it easier uh, to read in this form, but uh, you might normally do this on several lines, but it has the same meaning. Uh, there's a function called myfun. Uh, inside that function, we set a variable called x to be 10. So return value of this uh, is undefined. Um, we're just defining a function, we're not calling it. Okay, so let's ask what x is. Well, do you know? Well, we've only done one thing with x, we've set it to 3. Um, we've defined a function, we haven't even called it. Okay, so x is 3. Good, that's what we expect so far. Right, let's call a function. So, um, does the fact that uh, we used a variable called x in the function matter? Well, you would kind of hope not, right? So we call the function, uh, this function has no return value, um, so you get undefined. Then what is x? Let's find out. What do you think it is? It's 10. So uh, we happen to have this variable that we used inside this function. Uh, we called it x and uh, we used it and then we, as far as we were concerned, we threw it away. What actually happened was um, it leaked out of uh, this function and polluted a variable called x in the global object. Okay, so um, why did it happen? And how can we avoid it? Well, so the real WTF here, here is uh, not that this you can do this, but that you can do this accidentally. So um, let's try that again. Let's set a variable to x. Let's ask what x is. x is 3. Now let's define another function, my fun 2. Um, and inside that function we're going to do almost exactly the same as what we did last time. We're going to set x to be 20. Right, that doesn't return anything. Then we call the function, which has an undefined return value. What is x now? Okay, so we've done almost what we did before. Well, let me tell you, what x is now is 3. Why? Uh, well, because of that little word, var. So if you look at the definition of my fun 2, um, before we set x to 20, we put the, the word var. What that means is this variable um, is, uh, lives inside this function scope and doesn't affect anything outside it. Uh, the WTF is that if you leave out var, the assumption is you're going to deal with something from the outer scope, and when the outer scope is the global object, you're dealing with something that everyone else can see uh, and may well have defined stuff in. So, take home message um, 
use var for all your variables everywhere. Uh, and that's it for today.